In mathematics, specifically, in operator theory, a densely defined operator or partially defined operator is a type of partially defined function. In a topological sense, it is a linear operator that is defined almost everywhere. Densely defined operators often arise in functional analysis as operations that one would like to apply to a larger class of objects than those for which they a priori make sense. Topic: <laughs> Definition A densely defined linear operator T from one topological vector space, X, to another one, Y, is a linear operator that is defined on a dense linear subspace DOM T of X and takes values in Y, written T, DOM T X Y Sometimes this is abbreviated as T, X Y when the context makes it clear that X might not be the set theoretic domain of T. Topic Examples Consider the space CO zero one R of all real valued continuous functions defined on the unit interval, let C one zero one R denote the subspace consisting of all continuously differentiable functions. Equip CO zero one R with the supremum norm infinity. This makes CO zero one R into a real Banach space. The differentiation operator d given by d u x equals u x. Display style mathrm d u x equals u x is a densely defined operator from C O zero one R to itself, defined on the dense subspace C one zero one R. Note also that the operator d is an example of an unbounded linear operator, since u n x equals e minus n x display style u underscore n x equals e caret n x has d u n infinity u n infinity equals n display style frac mathrm d u underscore n underscore in a t u underscore n underscore in a t equals n this unboundedness causes problems if one wishes to somehow continuously extend the differentiation operator d to the whole of C O zero one R. The paley wiener integral, on the other hand, is an example of a continuous extension of a densely defined operator. In any abstract Wiener space I, H E with adjoint J equals I, E H, there is a natural continuous linear operator in fact it is the inclusion, and is an isometry from J E to L2 E, gamma, R, under which J F element of J E H goes to the equivalence class F of F in L2 E, gamma, R, it is not hard to show that J E is dense in H since the above inclusion is continuous. There is a unique continuous linear extension I H L two E gamma R of the inclusion J E L two E gamma R to the whole of H. This extension is the Paley-Wiener map. <laughs> 